Where are we off to now, motherfucker? Ah, oh, it's good playing Alien War again. This game has gotten really fun, in my opinion. At the beginning, I, I, was, I was thinking about not continuing to play it. Good thing I did. Phelps, batch 1247. These calls are definitely annoying, though. I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez. R A M E C. Jose, ¿qué tal, amigo? <clears throat> what, what do people have against Latinos? They're they're fucking chill. <sighs> okay, street crime location. I'm guessing none of you are racist. None of you viewers. You can drive. I sure hope not. Then get off my fucking channel. <clears throat> I hate racists. Anyway. It's a stupid idea. Hating someone just because their skin color. It's so retarded. Car 11K will handle the 211. What's the difference between a vice cop and a normal a detect a normal homicide detective? Commies. What have we got? Three guys tried to knock the place over and got jumped. Now they got a half dozen patrons and staff for insurance. Do we know the situation inside? Two inside covering the hostages. Plus this charmer at the front door. We need to do something about him now, sir. We won't negotiate. I don't kill this poor bastard if we don't put him down. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Move up! Oh, the woman just runs out. Okay, one, 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 one more guy. Where are you, asshole? Got him. I got blood on my sleeves. <laughs> That's that. Mm. I don't give a shit about him cr crawling in. It's always the same. Okay, now what do we got? We're gonna get go to our, 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 the Rames removals. I think it's Rames. Number numbers operation. Let's go here. I think we've already been there. Furniture, furniture, and removals for you, amigo. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Todos los americanos. <laughs> what the fuck? Where is he? What was he doing? He was like walking out into the street and then walking into the so car. Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus war fuel. They are selling it on the streets. Looks that way. But the mob wants return customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the war fuel? <laughs> Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. <laughs> That's a good point. We need to follow the evidence. I'm starting to like this guy, too. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this guy. What about he's gonna bolt? The Latinos in this game always bolt for some reason. Ah, mierda! Americanos! <laughs> what the fuck? LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? Did you have to shove him like that? You didn't do anything wrong. 11K calling KGPL. Of course, I told you they'd run. 11K requesting 
¡Venga! ¡Hijo de puta, venga aquí! <ríe> ¡Ja! ¡Hijo de puta! ¡Oh! ¡Yo running my car, amigo! ¡Fucking cocksucker! He's throwing shit at me. ¡Oh, what an ass! Sorry. <laughs> I hit some poor asshole's car. <laughs> oh, I'm catching up with him, though. He's a truck. Yeah. That's it, Cole. You did it. His truck's history. Jose, venga. Put your hands in the air. Calla, hijo de puta. <laughs> okay, enough Spanish for now. <laughs> People that speak Spanish are probably like, oh, this kid sucks. <laughs> His accent's terrible. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on it. I'm gonna take a look around inside. Yeah, right. Oh, God. We have to search this whole fucking place. Holy crap. Okay, what do we got? What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? Up on the ledger. Where's he been delivering? Who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, wait. What, what can we... we find something in clues here that will help us find the right... Number slip, maybe. Strange doodle radio notes. Numbers racket, blue room pass. Mr. Jose Ramos. To pay to someone, Odie, ESQ, $231. Okay, so Odie, $231. Let's see how much this thing cost. One crate. Odie, uh, there it is. is buying a lot of furniture. Four crates. Oh, look at another one here. Another one. And another one down here. And another one up here. What's he want me to do? Is Odi up here too? The blue room. Oh, look at this. Anything else? Polar Bear Ice Company. Okay. Merlin Odie. Raymond Farr. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, there's so gotta be something I can uncover here. Distributor identified. Special delivery. I don't, I don't see what else we can do here. Ah, oh, we've got another paper, huh? Let's see what this is about. Oh, this guy again. And the cop. I wonder if he's vice or homicide or what, or just a normal detective. You guys look shady. 
You know they're gonna. You know there's gonna. Pe people are gonna die here. So I just the way with these deals. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's the boss. We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. We're gonna fight, kid? Two of you versus my boys here. I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, looks tough, but uh, I don't like the chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you in infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of steak? <laughs> it means my men are covered. Still shoot. Oh! If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a two hundred dollar coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch. Kelso. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. This goes in the army too with uh, Phelps. Both of these guys. Hang on. Getting hasty. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk? Huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now, so don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea of muscle, kid? There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Ha ha ha! Owned! That was a nice line. <laughs>